for to view and in today's video we're going somewhere very exciting we're going to the auto show finally but before we do all that make sure you guys like today's video subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon make sure you also comment down below what cars were your favorite um right now we're in my hotel room um just letting a rental car warm up and you know i'm very excited for what's we're about to see i did miss the um announcement for the cult of okami but it's fine um we're here for a couple days you know it's cool there's also other cars that are going to be revealed but i'm probably going to miss those but the great thing is we can always go back to see them we can always go back to check them out um which is one of the great things about the auto show this is actually my first roblox auto show because i mean you can you can go check all of them and you know what's funny is last year was my first time going to my local city auto show i haven't been there in a while but you know of course i had to create content and so it was kind of worth it you can go back to that video i'll probably like link it down there um but yeah i also missed the uh pre-orders for the um i believe it's called the electricity see i don't even know you know my terrible reading skills are just gonna ruin almost everything but there were pre-order forms for it uh they revealed a new car that makes over like 2,000 horsepower i believe it's crazy but uh yeah i missed that too um sadly and it was like i i, I think 20 30 pre-orders see but that thing costs like over a million million bucks guaranteed i do after selling the rs polaris speaking of rs polaris you can actually get your rs polaris available to everyone uh, you can check the link down below um, and get you one because it'll help your boy out. I mean, those cars cost over a hundred thousand dollars, you know, and you're going to be supporting someone like me. The RS Polaris is a modified version of the Polaris um, that I created with the new brand MSP or Motorsports Performance. That sounds like the title of like a. That sounds like a general subject really but you know we call it motorsports performance okay we're trying to we're trying to get our motorsports name out there you know we're called motorsports review so we're gonna just name it motorsports performance because i just feel like it but yeah get your rs polaris i mean you don't have to pay anything really uh it's free on roblox free model but you know i'm gonna make over 100k no cap uh i think so far i sold like probably like 20 30 but you know we that's gonna turn into like 200 i guarantee like over because you guys are always asking the link for models and i'll probably make a video on it pretty soon but let's not delay anything it's oh my god we're wasting too much time but anyways we're hours away from the auto show so we're gonna have to drive there in my rental car and uh i'll see you guys when i get there um but i'm very excited to see what what's gonna happen uh what's in show for us gonna use this thing to open the door all right i'm gonna uh, just go downstairs and uh i'm gonna wait for this elevator to open because it takes forever to open um nobody's even using it you know it has no number out there so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that just means like nobody's using it i i can see it right here like i can see a crap through here like, come on i'm just trying to i'm just trying to ride at elevator stairs like cheese all right, the elevator finally came. All right, so like I said, I'll see you guys when I'm at this the could be us. So back to what I was saying. All right, guys, we are finally at the auto show. It looks very nice out here. Outside, we have this beautiful view. I parked my car somewhere, but I don't remember. Anyways, we'll find it later. Uh, you have this really nice waterfall that goes down here. Pretty cool. And you got people running around. So we're just gonna walk up these steps. I really like uh, the details with the lights that come from below here. Oh my god. The Inspiration Auto Show 2021. I mean, it's really awesome. And we got this fox jumping around. Or a cat. Um... So we're gonna start walking into here. Oh my god. Anyways, uh first off we're gonna start off at the Electris display. Um so right here we got this very beautiful polaris. I can't quite see the thing, but it says okay, 
$41,000. Didn't even know that. And this is the plus trim for $41,000. But it's a uh, 48. Uh, 482 kilometer range with 450 horsepower it's a dual motor vehicle god okay very nice what is this uh this is the pluto about eighty-five thousand dollars. this is also the plus trim gets about 836 kilometers of range and 750 horsepower wow this is probably the car you want to most likely take, but I feel like it takes forever to charge. I mean, that's probably one thing with cars like this. Um, they have quite a lot of range, but even with a lot of range, you tend to have a much slower charging. This is the con installation concept. I really want to see this concept become an SUV, especially with the new Okami. If I mess up that name, Forgive me, you know, I, I have terrible reading skills, right? But I'm very, I'm looking, I'm, I'm very excited for that vehicle to come out. Um, it was already revealed though. All right, this is the Colt Vulpus. Vulpus. I can't quite read that, but this is the GTS. Obviously, you can tell by the black look. Very nice, very nice. This is the real loop. Um, and I but I read the press, the, the 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 press readings, and I'm actually this this is what I'm gonna tell you. Like this is very exciting. When I heard this, the new there will actually be a new version to the real loop pretty soon, which is crazy. And the funny part is this car is out, but it's not even 2022. So. I mean, that's pretty fascinating to me. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there will be a new one that will be coming. That's what the small lettering saying. You can read the press release. Um, I, I didn't, but you know. He, yeah, he covered again. The truth is I did do a little walkthrough. I should have recorded then, but you know, it's cool, it's cool. There's photos of it. Sadly, I can't show you guys. But going back to here, there's I actually seen the there's some pretty cool specs. We'll do a spe separate video on it, like everything you need to know about it. But the infotainment screen to this car is awesome. Like from what I've seen, there's gonna and it's probably gonna be in the new Rio loop pretty soon. But I'm I'm excited to see. What they have to offer i like that it's more of a three row suv though like in roblox not a lot of people are going to be using it and the buttons are going to be much more functional as well as new technology so i'm very excited to see that uh oh my god okay we're just going to stay over here because that music might be copyright but i think it's probably the um this probably some non-copyright music but you know youtube likes to trip a lot so okay we're gonna stay over here um those are these cars we already seen i i don't remember the name but this is the new model that was recently revealed you know forget about it it's not even like i'm getting paid to do this anyway um This reminds me a lot like a Corvette. It gives me Corvette vibes. It's really cool. Yeah, it's right in the middle over there. But you can see it has a lot of cool details to it. Oh, and it has a similar um, infotainment screen as the uh, Electricity. So that's pretty cool. I think the brands, the two brands collapsed together. Yeah, this is probably the first. Uh, model to actually allow you to um, open the doors and open up like the hood and stuff which was pretty cool when I discovered that um, we're just taking a walk around the place uh, trail it's like a dealership that's in the city we've been there before I'm, I'll do a video on this game eventually yeah, I've been to the dealership before. Very beautiful dealership. 
this was very exciting now <laughs> i did do a little walkthrough some of you probably now haven't seen it i mean by the time this video comes out most of you have seen this all of this stuff but i'm excited for the new vehicles that they're bringing to apex uh Lara. this is like the new car that they're bringing and if you look closely i'll show you guys this this new display looks very beautiful it's like a little you know it, it's more modern display um which i think is very nice i i can't wait to see what they offer for this one but this is the more sporty sportier version I'm probably gonna have like more power uh, for sure uh, you can see it has a twin exhaust set so that one's more like a luxury luxurious version this is more of a you know sporty compact suv at least that's how it feels very beautiful um yeah but very cool very cool right here this is the quay um display they have not released any of these cars yet but they need to release this pretty soon because oh my god it's very beautiful suv probably the best choice that um hyperon has made i i heard a little bit of the backstory not sure if the story is 100 percent true but i'll tell you guys if you guys want to know this is not revealed yet but i'm excited to see it i think it's going to be a truck and most likely will be judging by like the way it's um, shaped but it looks really cool this reminds me a lot of, like a Jeep the, the new Grand Cherokee L like gives me that was those vibes but sooner or later this might be like a fully full model with like interior and everything this is a really nice car reminds me a lot of a Jaguar yeah I noticed one thing about um, maybe the same people who help you know put together electrics maybe help with Hyperon. You know, I know it's under Quay too, and I notice a lot of the cars from Electris are similar to the ones in real life. Like the Pluto reminds me a lot like a the mix of a Tesla Model S and a Porsche Taycan. You know, they're very similar. So I'm looking forward to that. So we're gonna keep moving that this way um ooh. it's really cool out here just seeing the things that uh are here so we're gonna go over here to this display see what it's about ooh the car just popped up music all right let's see the interior oh wait you can click e to interact with it wow you know, that's something I haven't seen in any cars yet. But I can click on it. It's like, that was like a Roblox badge. What if Roblox created this? Probably did. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's an electric car. Really nice. I like the wood accents though. Very beautiful. Uh, let's see information. Oh, whoa, okay. So you can actually interact with the information too it's very interactive uh it tells you a lot about um the car how the concept came together pretty cool um technology there's a world of automotive changes it begins to change in the 2020s many vehicles have developed technology never seen before in previous eras of roblox automotive industry many vehicles of the spot in the spotlight are vehicles that consist of mesh imported parts, causing many individuals to overlook Roblox design vehicles. To not, to not falling behind with technology, Autoblox hopes to bring back the brick build vehicles back into the spotlight of fictional automotive genre. The automotive the auto blocks evo will consist of many standard features that may be found in the top quality vehicles as well as brand new technology that the industry has never seen before for now we will not disclose our 
many future future plans of the brand's new technology that this industry has never seen before. Wait, yeah, I keep reading over the same thing I already read, but new technology yet as the world and competition is watching. Well, more news will be released about the vehicle in the future if you follow the AutoWorks Discord or AutoWorks main Discord. If it exists, uh, standard features in the Evo will include, but not to limit. Okay. But anyways, yeah, join the AutoWorks Discord. You'll find me there. Sometimes I talk a lot there, but definitely join that one because it's it, it, there's very interesting things that get brought up. Uh, forward collision warning. Ooh, what is this? First person view. These are all features that are going to be featured in this car, but you guys can read through them. Oh, selectable drive modes. My favorite thing is drive modes. Of car, I mean, that's one of the coolest things about Roblox is the drive modes. What is this? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. This is probably the coolest display I've seen. I can actually control all this. Blacked out, blacked out everything. I mean, your car has to be blocked out, but you can change the color of that. I'm not gonna do that because you know, I think it's already cool with the, the light it has. But yeah, that's really cool. It's really cool. Um, ooh, see, electricity. This is the new car that they released. I think this is probably gonna be a track only car. Seems like it. I'm too tall for it, so you know I can't fit. But definitely for a small guy, you would fit there perfectly. Uh, be yeah, but it comes with 2,000 horsepower, like I said earlier. Uh, 1,770 pound-feet of torque. This car is gonna do way faster than the 1.75 seconds that the other car already does. I'm very excited for that. And also, it might be very dangerous. So that's why I think this will probably be track-only car. Ooh, this one reminds me a lot like a Camaro. Black cars. Cavalry. I didn't, I, I've never heard of that brand, so. It's definitely cool seeing it. This is more like that F1 team type brand. I like that. F1 ties. This is our Chrome. We got a very cool F1 team they got going here. And then there's this car that they've created for uh, personal use. Now I've seen this one. It's very impressive. German engineering. All right, I believe it's German engineering. Uh, seven seventy-four thousand dollars. Wow! It has four hundred and thirty-five horsepower, all-wheel drive. You know, really cool. Turbocharged inline four. This is probably borrowed from an F1 car. Yeah, four doors never drove this well. The one six one six. I mean the six sixteen. OSR is efficient and practical pack enough power and racing heritage to make you believe that you're actually in one of Chroma's race cars. That's quite promising. With an engine made by the same department of Chroma that makes the legendary F1 cars, the 616 OSR is a race car for family, for the family. Wow. So, you know, you got performance, you have quite, yeah, there's a lot of engineering back behind this. You know, you got Formula One engineering within a car with an SUV chassis. Oh my God. Okay. That's really cool. A lot of promising specs that we've seen right there, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, now we come to this brand. Oh, is it the sound system? It's really good sound system. I like the design, it's very futuristic. You know, it looks like a pipe though, too. It's like a futuristic pipe, really cool. Uh, but this is the Panda. Mm. It's a compact SUV. Very similar wheels to the Cult. Might be like some other uh, brand that's associated with Cult.
the Iron Road. Ooh, very nice vehicle. Okay. Oh, it's not affiliated at all. Just a. Uh, it was just rooms built by him. Okay, that's that's really cool. Uh, and it has a lot of the people that the lead Emily Gotcha, uh, the Koei Soccer Gal Two Builder Emily Gotcha, and the IDs and etc. Uh, soccer Gag Two. Okay, very beautiful place to check out. Um, now we're at the KOI Motors. Uh, these, this is a concept, I believe. The XYZ concept. I really like the design here. It's like, it's like a cute little car to drive around each day. And the MPV, this is like a van that they, uh, that they created. Very nice. All right, now we are on to Turtle Motors Automotive. I believe they're a new brand. I haven't heard of it, but it looks really nice. You know, there's a lot of green going on. Uh, the James Tra Trail Master. I believe this is the more, um, this reminds me of more so a, the Ranger, like, STX package, if there is one to that. You know, this is more of like that off-road package type car. Um, ooh. So this, or I think it competes more with the F-150. I don't know. It just looks kind of small like a Ranger. But it probably can be, competes with the F-150. But this is the 2022 Toro Automotive James Black Label. Ooh. So this is like their luxury. Um... Or no, this is probably their Sport, like, Limited, similar to the F-150, like the Limited with, like, a Sport package or something. Really cool. Now, uh, we're gonna go upstairs. Um, uh, we got this one. It's like that. Oh, the Scorpio. The track-focused performance, yet practical. What? Really? This is, this is crazy. V8 engine in this thing. This is unbelievable. So this one, I've never seen a track focus SUV, I mean, truck by a brand in a long time. But I've got to say, this is, this is really impressive. Um, the James Limited, this is a luxury one. This is, a, this is that premium truck that you get uh, with the premium features. Yeah, very beautiful. Uh, Turo Automotive goes low. Third generation into automotive called to tow uh, generation two. Wow. wow, that that's really nice though. Uh, we got the classic over here. This reminds me of Model T. And you got the old school music going on. Ooh, definitely a classic design. Oh, this is actually that new brand, um, I believe. Haroto XS GT. This is a faster version. Yeah, this is the fastest version with 600 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque from a V8 engine. It's naturally aspirated. 3.2 seconds, zero to 60, all-wheel drive, and five-speed automatic. This is everything you want in a performance coupe but this is more so a just a regular one like this is something you probably you want a fast car but you don't want to take it to track all the time you just want something you know you drive daily you know uh, and this is that 2.5 liters inline 5 okay 400 horsepower 335 pound 355 pound feet of torque 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds all will drive same thing and 8 8 speed automatic so this reminds me of something I'm gonna compare it to something like a Challenger SRT 392 and then you got a Hellcat like that would be like your Hellcat this would be your like 392 this is for you want that sportiness you want the power but you just don't want to go crazy now you want to take now this one is for you the people who want to take it to the next level 
and I gotta say it's a very beautiful car. I might purchase this one soon. Uh, there will be an interior to this one, I heard. So yeah, so there, uh, this one's already released. So we can get an idea of how it's gonna feel, but there will be one with an interior and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to that. This brand, really nice. I, I've actually driven that one before. One of the, the only complaint I have with it is just the, the, um, the handling is pretty bad, but it's really, it really is a good car. Uh, the car is available with the Sport, the E Sport, and the Comfort models. I've, mm, I've driven the E Sport, which is like the one that gets out of control pretty fast. Um, but I've not driven the Comfort yet. So we're definitely gonna drive the Comfort and the Sport eventually. Or I think I already driven the Sport. Oh, Hakuni. I'm actually excited for this one. It's a very nice truck. Um, it definitely will get the job done. But the Hakuni U200. So this is like an F250 style truck. Really cool. Uh, U-series truck as there's three models of this somewhere uh, this one comes with a six liter v8 but they go from v6 to a turbo diesel six cylinder which is probably gonna be in the 300 model I do want to do a like test like a uh, hyperon parlo versus this thing or like any dually really we're gonna have a dually war eventually this is really cool. This brand actually reminds me of something like a General Motors. Like, you know, this would probably be like your Chevy Bolt. Really cool. It gets 300 miles of range, has all-wheel drive. Two motors, really cool. You know, I like the, the futuristic design. I wish they did come with the ability to open the doors and stuff, but really in Roblox, you're not really opening the doors a lot, though it'd be a really cool feature to show off. But it's actually a very nice vehicle. Um, definitely something you would like to modify a lot. Motorcycles here, okay. You have this uh, side by side. Definitely the first time I've seen a side by side fictional vehicle in Roblox, so that'd be really cool. And I've never seen that a four a AT4 um, vehicle like this ever. So that's really cool to see. Um, we got Solar. This is actually the nicest Solar I've seen. But that's the nicest Solar I've seen so far. Really cool. They make speakers? Wow. Very nice. Um, it reminds me a lot like the... Um, Anyways, I was saying, it reminds me a lot like Sonya, but Sonya also makes tech a lot more. I like the Sonya tech. It's, we use a lot of Sonya tech inside our um, dealership. So, <laughs> I said dealership. I revealed this before I should have. My bad. <laughs> but anyways, we are working on a game. I'm, I'm working on a game for you guys to play, um, which... I'm hoping to make it available to a lot of fictional brands. Uh, so that's going to be really cool. That's going to be really cool to make happen. This is a concept that they created right here. Very cool. It was a collab. Collab. So you and I, Q and Conan made that car. I haven't been up here yet. Uh, we're going to go over here. Ah. The UNIQ, very beautiful car. This is like a very sporty, oh. I believe it's mid-engine too, and you can actually go into the interior and see a little, uh, but I can't open the door for some weird reason. Uh, but I believe it has a manual right there. Wow. It's a very beautiful car. Uh, the Netherlands, okay, okay, okay. Shout out to the Netherlands. Uh, we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna go upstairs a bit. 
this is probably the final place we're gonna check out before I end the video. But so far the auto show looks pretty cool, pretty promising. Oh my god, PIO. PIO, oh my god. It's here too. Really cool. They got really cool cars here. They got food. Yes. Oh, English sausage roll. Not really into sausage, but what's this here too? Genuine. Oh, shit. I bought me that. Chocolate and dessert. They got quite a lot of food here. Designs. You can order yours in these colors. Really cool. I think they. Have, oh, they have a website. Okay, we'll go on the website eventually configure our own that'd be pretty cool um is this what i think it is rig bone rig bone rig bone you know i figured it took me a while i didn't know rig bone made like trucks i mean i didn't know they were making trucks like for a while i thought they just stopped but this is a really cool car it reminds me of ben bentley bentega what is this I don't know, it doesn't say the name, but I do want to get this. I want to get this car. I don't know if it's just a concept or something that, um, a, uh, or if it's a real car, but I do want to get that. I know that's the rig bone truck. I don't know what that is, nor do I know what that is up there, but they're really cool. This reminds me of the Dodge Ram. I mean, it looks very similar to the truck. Very similar to the truck. Lava said the Bray and then nothing. Then I said the Bray Okay, 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 go. I'm making a video. Yeah, but it reminds me a lot like the Dodge Ram. Very beautiful. Alright, what's next? Tigger. You know, Tigger's the only brand that follows me back on Twitter. So shout out to Tigger Automotive. You guys are awesome. Um they make some really cool designs like this. This is really nice. This, this is beautiful. Um, we're gonna go on to the next part. Ooh, what is this? Pontion. Got an electric car. They got a truck. Okay, quite a lot of these brands have a truck I didn't even realize. But this looks very beautiful for a cargo van definitely need one um at motorsports review so we might get one from hakumi because i mean that's the only brand i know for sure that has one available eua reminds me of uae ha 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 maybe that's what they're trying to go for uh it's very beautiful uber luxury look at this Matches my suit. This is the car that I should be walking out every time. You know, every time I'm in a game, I should be pulling up in this. Very beautiful. Oh, this is a concept. These are all concepts, right? Oh, this one's actually a real model. This is actually really nice. This reminds me of a, um, a Genesis on the interior. But on the outside, I mean, this is like an ultra luxury Genesis. You know, it gives me that vibe. But it's very beautiful. Like even this tops Rolls Royce. This takes it to the next level. I like the lines on this car. It reminds me of Bugatti Chiron, like with the lines on the seats. Uh, well, a lot of it reminds me of Bugatti Chiron, in fact. Uh, but it looks like a, the mix of a Bugatti Chiron and an I8. Very beautiful. Uh, Uber luxury to the next level. I like it. There's some concepts over here. So we're just gonna go down um, and see some other cars. Um, I believe there's another section, but then you gotta climb the stairs up again. It's probably a brand I've already seen. We've seen everything, pretty much. We've seen everything. Uh, but. Alright, so that's a wrap for today's video. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to Motorsports U. Make sure you also check out the Driven Store. 
Uh, make sure you like and even comment on what cars were your favorite. I'm Abekir Ali on Motorsports Review, and until then, I'll see you guys next time. Um, I appreciate you guys always watching my channel. Uh, in the last couple of days, we've seen a major growth, so thank you guys for that. Um, yeah, I'm going to end off today's video, and we will see you guys tomorrow for the rest of the auto show. There's going to be also announcements. There's going to be videos on future cars coming up, so look out for those. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. On the could be us. So back to what I was saying. Could be us. Could be us.